Hey there guys, and welcome to another quick Kings of Chaos tutorial. Uh, I've done several of these before. If uh, this game is new to you, if you haven't like watched any of the other videos on it, uh, definitely check out the intro video I did on it, and then the tutorials. If you want to join, uh, there is a link below where you can uh, join, and it will kind of group us all together, together and uh, you know just get us uh, all grouped up. So basically, uh, this is, if you don't know, this is a browser-based uh, game. It's kind of an RTS uh, RPG uh, game that is uh, text-based, as you can tell. But uh, it's actually really fun. It's a lot more fun than it would look on first glance. And there's definitely some uh, strategy that goes into this. But what we're going to cover in today's tutorial, it's going to be short. Uh, just some stuff I've had some questions about, and there were a few misconceptions. Uh, part of it is in regards to the script that uh, we're using with our alliance. Uh, because people were a little confused of it, and then part is some tips. So let's start with just the general tips. Uh, we're going to go to training, and we're looking at this because uh, there's some there's some special things to take note of here. Uh, basically, if you are any decent sized account, um, army size wise, total fighting force TFF. Um, if I would say if it's anywhere above like. 10,000 or so, even if it's less than 10,000, this is still decent practice, uh, is you want to train as many units as you possibly can uh, into attack soldiers. And the reason for this is when uh, wars inevitably, inevitably happen in the game, uh, you're going to get raided. And what this means is people from whichever alliance you're warring are going to uh, attack you, mass attack you, basically, um, where... Uh, there will just be a ton of them who will just attack you like max amount of times a day and uh, they do this uh, because one it kills soldiers if you have uh, any that are untrained or you know defense soldiers and it also kills spies and sentries is the main objective to it and it damages your weapons but basically uh, why you want to train these is because like how I am now if I were to get raided it would be pretty bad I would I would lose thousands of soldiers, uh, I'd imagine, uh, because I have all these untrained, right? If they're attack soldiers, they can't die when you get attacked. Now, of course, you will take more heavy losses a little bit uh, when you attack uh, someone else, but obviously that is to your discretion. It's, you know, opposed to when people raid you, you have no control over that. Uh, you know, it could be 20 people raiding you max times a day, which is a massive amount. Uh, so... It can be expensive. This is why I haven't trained all mine yet. It's very. It can be expensive if you have a large enough army, but it's definitely worth it uh, in the long run to train as many soldiers. Basically, all your untrained soldiers you want to train to attack, and then obviously keep enough defense soldiers to hold your weapons. Um, but you do want to train them to attack. And second, uh, with this is mercenaries. You want to make sure to get mercenaries, uh, preferably attack and defense ones. The untrained are cheaper, but I think they uh, more of them die. Uh, and, and that's because these guys die in place of your soldiers. Uh, so, like, you know, if I get attacked, I have 600 mercenaries to kind of take the blow um, instead of my soldiers. And I don't want my soldiers dying because they provide me income, uh, you know, which is obviously very important. So, there's that part, uh, which is, is really important to note. Uh, kind of back in training, just briefly, if we look at these upgrades... Uh, Conscription upgrade, uh, you do want to try to get these as soon as you can uh, without, like, destroying your account. Uh, and what I mean by that is just, you know, usually for these later ones, you're going to have to sell part of your armory to buy them. Uh, like, this last one was 130 million gold, which I'm not going to get just from, like, attacking or, or my income because I'll, I'll get it stolen before I can hold that much. Uh, so you have to sell part of your armory. Uh, but it is good to get these as early as you can without just selling, like, your entire armory. Uh, because obviously every single day you get this. You'll notice, if you notice, if you were paying close attention, uh, my soldiers just jumped up all of a sudden a minute ago, and that's because of the conscription. Uh, it comes in at the same time every day, uh, and I get 1,600 soldiers per day from this, and this is the max level, but basically it really adds up, because every day I don't have that, I'm missing out those soldiers, and that extra gold I would be earning every single minute. Uh, so this is, you know, important to get pretty early. Um, and your tech upgrades and uh, economic upgrades are really just kind of a matter of preference. The tech upgrades add, uh, give 5% increase to all four of your stats uh, permanently. Uh, your current weapons and any future weapons you buy are going to be 5% more effective. 
uh, with each technology upgrade. So these are good. Uh, obviously, the economic upgrades are also very good. Uh, I'm earning you know quite a bit of gold for this from this currently, and I'm saving um, for the next one. I think this is probably the last one I'll get for the age, uh, and then I'll just go full tech upgrades. So there's that. That's kind of just personal preference and covert skill. You want to get that pretty much as quick as you can. Uh, they're very cheap. Uh, you know, in the beginning of the age, they're not super cheap, but like within like a couple days, they're super super cheap. Um, so you can get those easily. Each one increases your spying entry by sixty percent, which is pretty huge. Uh, now, in terms of the scripts, uh, the script thing. So if you are using the script, um, basically you should get have all these extra buttons, like the targets button, the farmless button. Um, for me, it's going to be very small because I, due to my army size and my strike action, I can only hit the three people in the game. Uh, but yours should be a lot bigger. Uh, this TBG this shows um, shows how much gold they're basically what their turn-based gold is for a certain amount of time. So if we click on this guy, um, this is loading. Um, the TBG that it shows here is what's shown right here. This is their 40 turn. Um, and this is with econ, I believe, with a uh, economy upgrade. So basically, they make this much every 40 turns, every 40 minutes. Uh, it is good practice at this point in the age to try to hit for about 20 to 30 minutes um, worth of gold. Uh, later in the age, you definitely want to aim for at least 30 minutes. This early on, people are aiming for more like 20 or so, which, you know, just because it's early on. Um, but so you can base it off this number uh, pretty much. Uh, this number would be safer because you don't always get 100%. In fact, you usually don't. But uh, someone did have a question because, uh, you know, you you can usually base it off of the 30 turn one. Um, and unless you just get a really bad percent, you'll be, you'll be pretty well off with that. Uh, but it is really important that you do make sure to aim for this because people, it's kind of just a... Uh, site-wide a game-wide rule agreed upon by all alliances for the most part um, to aim for 30 turns worth of income uh, or thereabouts right so if you're like hitting for like 10 minutes or something it's just really generally frowned upon and going to make people mad and then they'll sabotage you or mass raid you later on um, it it's it's not good right and then you you want of course recon before you attack someone to make sure that they're even holding the 30 minutes and you can beat their defense uh, and you can just recon here. So that's what I wanted to cover with that uh, because there were some questions there and like how to even see their 20 minute or 30 minute. If you're not using the script, uh, it's going to be quite difficult to calculate. Uh, you can kind of calculate it based on their army size um, and stuff, but uh, the script definitely helps a ton with this. Uh, so, you know, I would definitely recommend using that. And that's pretty much what I wanted to cover for this. Uh, just those those quick things, uh, mostly with the training, because it is really really important, uh, so that you don't take massive losses when you uh, when a war happens at some point. But uh, there you go, guys. So you know, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, leave any ideas or, or anything for other tutorials on this uh, that you may want to see. And uh, like I said, if you haven't joined, uh, check it out. Like I said, it's a lot more fun than it may look initially. And uh, the link below will just get you right in and, and all set up. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.